For a long time, everybody has agreed that one of the main pathways forward for computer technology has been quantum computing. A quantum computer is a very different animal from a regular computer, or as they're called, classical computers, where classical computers process information in the form of ones and zeros. A quantum computer, because it operates according to the laws of quantum physics, can process data as a one or a zero, or one and zero at the same time. The reason it can do this is because of a quantum mechanical principle called superposition, whereby a subatomic particle can be in two states simultaneously, which is very weird and counterintuitive to those of us who live in the big macro world. One of the interesting things about superposition is that a lot of physicists believe that when you have a particle that's in two different states, it's actually existing in two parallel universes at the same time. They're both real and they're just separate realities. Another quantum effect that's very important for quantum computing is called entanglement. Entanglement means that at that subatomic level, the quantum states of two or more particles become linked to each other. They all form part of a group that all behave alike. Einstein called entanglement spooky action at a distance, which was his way of saying, I don't know why this works, and I'm not even convinced that it should work, but it does appear to work. We know that quantum computing is going to lead to incredibly powerful hardware. And now there's a company called D-Wave that actually builds and sells quantum computers. And we're all trying to figure out, is this the future of computing? Have they cracked it? Or is it a dead end? If D-Wave's computers do what we're all hoping they can do, D-Wave is going to have a lot of clients. Certainly financial services, machine learning, artificial intelligence. Google already has one. NASA has one. They're great for logistical planning. There are not very many fields of human endeavor that these things are going to leave unaffected.